What's up guys? We are back in my car on a rainy day in Oregon. What else is new? I'm driving to the gym right about now. I feel like I'm yelling over this thing. I'm just gonna film this vlog tomorrow um, to upload on Saturday, but I think I'm gonna drive up to Portland tomorrow afternoon before it gets dark and spend the night at Sierra's just so then we can like leave early to drive to Vancouver the next day. So I wanted to start my vlog now because I really want to talk to you guys about my goals for 2018 after I made my last vlog talking about um, you know, things I've learned and tips I have for reaching your goals in 2018. It made me really excited to share with you guys my personal goals. And I know a lot of you were wondering about them. So what? I feel like there's so many confusing things happening on the road right now. So it is almost New Year's. Happy New Year if you're watching this in the New Year. New Year, say it more, Christy. When this is uploaded, if all goes according to plan, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I hope you guys are doing something fun. Let me know. Um, maybe I'll meet some of you guys in Vancouver, BC if you're gonna be there. Definitely make sure to follow my social media, my Snapchat and my Instagram especially if you want to see updates or like what we're doing on the trip, fun cute pics. Status update, it looks dark in the gym so let's hope no one's there. Also if you're just stumbling on this video, hi I'm Christy, welcome to my channel. I upload fitness vlogs three times a week in the new year they're gonna be coming at you. I think I decided I'm gonna do Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, that's what I'm gonna plan on now, starting in the new year. That way I'm uploading three times a week and you guys get a vlog on the weekends because I know a lot of people said that was like important to them. And in 2018, we're eating clean, we're training mean, we're getting lean. And I felt so stupid when I came up with that. I was just like, why do I need a, a motto? I was just trying to think of a, like a succinct way to kind of condense my goals into something like I guess catchy, but just something memorable. And I know those three are just so generic and vague sounding, but I kind of wanted them to be vague because it's easy to expand on them and make them personal for you. So like you can adopt eat clean, train mean, and get lean to your life without having the specific body goals that I do, you know what I mean? If you didn't see my last vlog, I talked a lot about just being more mindful of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and like do everything in my life with more intention. I just want to like stop going through the motions and doing things be just because I've done them before, or, like just because it's comfortable and that's especially no way to change and grow. 2017 was a huge year of like self growth, reflection, change for me and especially towards like in the middle of the year was a big transition where I started being healthier, I started losing weight, I graduated college, I moved across the country, all of that like that this summer especially was like a huge transitional period for me and then once I moved, once I got settled and comfortable, um, I definitely started going through the motions a little bit. Still being healthy, I was still like working towards goals but I kind of just wasn't challenging myself enough I feel like so that's what I want to focus on with my personal goals is like eating clean I do want to make an effort to incorporate more nutrients more greens and like different varieties of foods that I don't usually get in my diet I don't know I just eat a lot of like processed packaged foods that aren't necessarily like bad foods but I just want to focus on more incorporating more whole foods and like less of the processed stuff like, I just want to eat more clean bottom line um, it's a very simple goal, I guess. I just want to make it more habitual. I don't like sitting in my car too long before I go to the gym because then I feel like, like once I'm driving and listening to music, I'm getting like so pumped up, but then if I sit in the car too long, then I like lose steam. So I don't want to talk about that too much. So maybe I'll do my workout and then I'll talk to you after about train mean and what that means to me. Let go. <laughs> okay, I just did an incline walk back. 20 minutes, 200 calories on the treadmill. I'm all sweaty, but um, Gymshark outfit. I'm wearing the cropped black seamless top, gray and pink flex leggings, and my Nikes. I'm gonna do some curtsy lunges and maybe split lunges, split squats, whatever, on this Smith machine. I was doing curtsy lunges. Nice. Okay, so that was pathetic footage of my workout. The next point I wanted to talk about when it comes to my goals for 2018 is train mean. And I feel like that's the vaguest one. Like eat clean, like, oh, I get it. Eat clean foods. 
get lean. Oh, I get it. Get leaner. <laughs> but train mean can mean mean. I need a lot of things to a lot of people. When I say that I've been going through the motions, I feel especially with my workouts. In the beginning, when I started my fitness journey and I was going to the gym, like everything was really hard for me. Like every day when I finished my workout, I was like, wow, like that was a workout. Like I felt like I was like changing something. Once I made a routine and made habit of working out, um, it got a lot easier for me, obviously because that's what happens when you get stronger. But I kind of just haven't felt that in a really long time that like I leave one of my workouts and I'm like, wow, I just kicked my own ass. Like I haven't been training mean. Like I would say training mean to me is like when you're absolutely like dead after a workout and you're just like, wow, like that was a change. I don't know how to explain it. I haven't really like tried as many new things as I like or pushed myself. So in 2018, I want to train mean. I want to actually like have purpose and intent with my workouts. And I think I actually want to create some sort of workout split. Um, Cause in the past, like I've roughly been like, okay, I'm gonna focus more on my arms or I feel like doing biceps today, but I haven't really scheduled that into my workout split and it's been more intuitive. And I feel like I want a little more structure in it just because it has been a while and I want to like change it up and like really challenge myself to have like trackable goals. So I want to do more cardio again. Um, if you saw my why I stopped losing weight vlog, I talked about how I cut back my cardio a lot and I was focusing on weight training, which I have been doing. And I honestly have been really, really happy with how my muscles have built up. And I think I have like challenged myself in that way. I want to do a more like cardio hit kind of maybe classes like as a challenge to myself or just like more different kind of training that I'm not used to. I think my body's gotten used to a lot of the workouts that I like doing, obviously. So train mean, I'm going to like really really push myself this year and try new things when it comes to working out and just really really pushing myself and like challenging my body um so yeah that's my like second goal i guess with working out i kind of like this little motto because i already got feedback from you guys that are like wow i love this like i'm gonna adopt this into my life and all i did was like say it at the end of that video quickly and i didn't even expand on it and someone even sent me on snapchat they like made a little graphic for it she said she would email it to me so i'll try and insert it in this video but it's so cute so that'd be so cool if we could all like do this together because I like that eat clean, train mean, and get lean can mean different things to different people and you can like really adapt it to how you need to manifest it in your life, I guess. You guys know if you've been watching my videos that I talked about how I was increasing my calories, I'm out of a deficit for the past few months um, just because I want to build muscle and I want to really focus on getting stronger and like feeding my body, kind of doing a little bit of a refeed after cutting for three months. I want you guys to be completely in on every part of this journey. Like it has been hard for me to like except gaining a little bit of weight back and like I know that a lot of it is muscle and I have noticed like I said I have noticed my muscles defining and I love that and I feel stronger <sighs> these raindrops are really loud I can't help but get annoyed noticing a little bit of fat coming back too and I knew that was what's gonna happen I watched all the videos like I know that when you, obviously when you're in a sur surplus you can't just funnel every single calorie into your freaking glute muscles like that's not how it works you are gonna gain a little bit of fat back with it and it is kind of frustrating to notice when you have made significant progress. I'm still working towards my goals, but it's still, I can't help but shake the like feeling of like slight like frustration, especially, I, I've totally noticed it in my vlogs and I feel like you guys have too, my face. My face is the first place that I lose and gain weight. If you go back and watch my first few fitness vlogs, there, that's like a, I, immediately noticed within two weeks that my face was slimmer even if my body didn't look different to me i've gained a little bit of weight back with my um muscle building and honestly like i really haven't noticed it in my body at all obviously it's not that much but what i do notice is my face and it bothers me so much and i know that i shouldn't i don't want to like talk about my insecurities and be negative about it um and i know that i am going to lose it again but i'm excited to like I just liked the feeling. I miss the feeling of like feeling leaner, I guess. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. I really haven't gotten any comments about it. I got like one or two comments about it. Um, but maybe you guys are just being nice. <laughs> I know that it's like I'm building muscle so that when I, you know, obviously down the road decrease fat again, like it'll be worth it in the long run. It's really not that big of a deal. It's very, very slight. I have not gained that much weight. It's just that it's just frustrating for me because I know that what I have gained like in fat wise you can see all in my face like in my body i don't think i can notice a difference so basically that goal is i'm just going to go back to eating in a deficit a little bit and i'm going to do it a lot slowly and i'm not going to be as harsh on myself if you're starting a fitness journey please please don't get sucked into trying to do it as fast as you can i would just start by tracking your food for a week not changing anything just to like see and be aware of the things you're eating and then maybe start cutting back like 
cut down 100 calories a week. Don't go too crazy into cutting because that's when you're gonna get to a point where you can't sustain it and that's when you're gonna gain it back eventually. So the last few months I've been um, increasing my calories. I've been eating maintenance and a little bit of a surplus. I've kind of gone back and forth. My maintenance is around 2,000. Um, and so I'm probably gonna go down to like 1850 and I probably won't go below like 1500 at the lowest, but that's, I'm still gonna ease into it. And as I vlog, like I'm gonna be vlogging three times a week, I'm gonna be talking you through the process and what I'm doing this time. And like, and obviously this is a personal thing for me. Like I don't want you guys to shape your, everyone's different. I don't want you to shape your numbers or anything like that around me because you are your own person. In a deficit, I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of muscle that I built up and that's just how it is, but that's okay. Um, but I do want to get down, get my fat percentage down again. Like at the beginning of my fitness journey, if you would have been like, oh, so you want to like be lean, I would have been like, no, like I want to be skinny. Like to me, lean was like, like toned and like, like lean. I thought of it as muscle, like lean muscle. So for me, when I say that now, I still think of it as that like get lean, like maintain my muscle, even maybe like define it more if I can, while just like revealing the muscle underneath the fat, like getting, just leaning out the fat that is covering the muscle basically. But I definitely wanna emphasize doing this in a sustainable way and that's kind of what my channel's all about. You can fit fitness into your life without making it your entire life. I'm gonna go inside and shower. Oh, we're probably gonna have to leave for the movie soon. We're going to go see The Greatest Showman tonight. So that'll be really fun. Let me know if these kind of fit your lifestyle too or like what kind of goals you have, your thoughts on mine or my your tips for me or anything like that. Wouldn't mind in 2018 being a Gymshark athlete and I wouldn't mind being verified on Twitter, but you know. We'll see. I'm really excited for everything to come. I'm excited to document it with you guys. I feel like I left out things I wanted to say, so I'll probably add on to this later. Eat clean, train mean, get lean. 2018. I'm wearing a black turtleneck and I can't help, but every time I wear this now, if you guys have Molly Bailey on Snapchat, actually, I don't know if her Snapchat's public or not. She like posted a Snapchat of her with a kid. I don't know if it was her like cousin or something, but it was like a little girl who was wearing a black turtleneck and she was like, Oh, I don't remember exactly how she phrased it. It was probably a lot funnier. She was just like, Anna's dressed like Steve Jobs today. <laughs> and now, every time I wear a black turtleneck or see a black turtleneck, I, I laughed so hard. I cannot help but think like, well, Christy's dressed like Steve Jobs today. I did remember one thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't when I was in the car. Um, along with Get Lean, it's like, I'm going to be going back to Composition ID, which is a place I went um i think september is when i went there in my vlogs and i got like a full deca is it dexa or deca body scan like basically breaks down in such detail your body composition and like your fat percentage muscles percentage where you're holding what like if you have more muscle on one side or the other anything like that um which was so interesting and i haven't been back since then and i'm actually like i'm gonna go back in january when i'm back in dc um but I'm kind of scared, honestly, to get it scanned. But I am interested to see my muscle mass, um, where I've gained muscle. I'm gonna be going there like more consistently to keep up with how my body's changing. Like, I don't like to say that your goal should be a number, but I feel like a body fat percentage makes more sense to strive for than a certain weight. Does that make sense? I literally look like a Steve Jobs egg. Okay, we're gonna try on the Zara coat and see if it looks better with this. I feel like that's okay. Well, as always, that's as good as it's gonna get. Name that movie. Things are not well here. I'm gonna have to hold the camera really far away. I'm gonna go eat teriyaki chicken and live a happy life. <laughs> the Greatest Showman is an original musical that celebrates the birth of show business and tells of a visionary who rose from nothing to create a spectacle that became a- It has an IMDB rating of 7.9 out of 10 and is rated PG. Thank you. My mom's just talking to her new friend, her new best friend, Alexa. My new best friend, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, do you like me? Of course we can be friends. You seem very oh, nice. That's an improvement. Alexa, my daughter Christy is here. Would you say hello to her? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> This is the present I got my dad actually. It's an Ama what is it? Amazon Echo Dot. And it's become, my mom has become a lot more attached to it than he has. Say hello to Christy's audience on YouTube. She's not gonna know what that is. I couldn't find any linked video skills that could play that. <laughs> Me neither, girl. We tried to set it up um, on Christmas and it would not register to my dad's like Amazon account or something. We tried mine and it was just being really weird. And so it was like network error, blah, blah, blah. So he calls Amazon the next day 
and they were like, yeah, this was reported lost or stolen. And we were like, what? Because I got it refurbished because um, they were all like back ordered. So I figured like my dad wouldn't care if it was refurbished. And I wanted him to have it on Christmas. And it was like, it was this little complicated thing where it was reported stolen. So basically, Merry Christmas, dad. Your daughter's a felon. They figured it out and took the hold off of it so we could register it. But now it works. So as always, I'm the first person ready. And we're going to be late because my family takes forever to do anything. So there he is. You ready for the movie? I am. Good. You look ready. Bring on the circus. Bring on the circus. What's up guys? It's the next morning. It is 7.30 and I just had my lemon water and took my supplements. And now we're making crusty proof coffee. Look at this adorable mug I got my mom for Christmas from Paper Source. And don't you love how I'm just like using all the gifts I got my mom? So this morning I have a quite the to-do list because I am driving over to Portland today to leave for Vancouver tomorrow in my coffee today, you guys. I'm using the Vital Proteins, the Collagen Peptides, but this is the vanilla and coconut water flavor. Guys, the fact that they have flavors is so amazing. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing until recently. I'm just gonna do a scoop of this. Oh, it smells so good. I usually use just the plain, unflavored collagen peptides. It looks like this. This is a travel pack of it. And a lot of people ask me if the regular collagen peptides has a flavor or like you can taste it or anything because it seems kind of intimidating. When they say unflavored, like they mean unflavored, you can put it, sir, I'm speaking. You can put the collagen in honestly anything and it dissolves into it so well that you can't taste it and you don't even know it's there. Like it kind of changes the consistency when I put it in coffee, but only to the point where like, cause I blend my coffee if I'm in my apartment or I use this thing, which is like a, like a frother thing that my mom has while I'm here. And it only like makes the coffee like creamier and kind of makes it frothier, which I think is good. Like I like my coffee like that. I think it only like enhances it, TBH. But if you want to add flavor to things, you can get different flavors of collagen peptides, which still have the same amount of benefits and everything. Froth, baby, froth. If you want to add like something to your coffee, like this would be in place of a creamer. They do have their own creamers too. So it is like Whole30 approved. It doesn't have, just because it's vanilla flavor, doesn't mean it has like artificial sweeteners or anything. It's really clean ingredients. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, which is perfect for me. And all it does is just add a little bit of like vanilla to make your coffee or whatever you put it in taste good. Like if you bake with it, amazing. If you haven't seen my previous videos where I talk about this, especially, I think I just talked about it in my last vlog. I talked about the beauty water. Collagen is amazing for your hair, skin, and your nails because you start producing it in your body naturally when you hit 25 you guys know I use them and I love supplementing my diet with collagen because I love how the benefits for like the gut health and the probiotics it has and it's just amazing I also just like how the collagen peptides has 18 grams of protein because then like when I drink it just before I go work out without eating a meal I don't feel like immediately hungry and I like feel like I have that energy to sustain me. I'm drinking my coffee and then I'm going to the gym. So I'm hoping to get there by 8.30. Just do an hour session, leave by 9.30, come back, I'm gonna shower. Um, and then I need to pack for Vancouver. Oh, by the way, if you wanna get the collagen peptides, you know my link is below so you can check it out. I'm going to the gym now and I decided I'm not gonna vlog there because I got a little bit of workout footage from yesterday. Thanks so much for watching and putting up with me. I hope you're really stoked for 2018 to eat clean, to train mean, to get lean. I'm really excited for all to come and all the videos we're gonna make. Yeah, definitely let me know um, what you wanna see from me in 2018, like how you want my content to be different or whatever. Like I wanna hear from you guys. I don't wanna make this vlog any longer than it already is. I'm headed off to Vancouver today so I'm gonna start a new vlog for that. So get stoked and I'll see you on Tuesday. Enroll the new outro. Oh.